Brothers and sisters, we did a little bit of inner last time. In our last session, we'll do it again, inshallah. Inshallah, you will understand it fully. Why I say this? Because I have confidence that you understood the concept of Jumla Ismiya very well. In Jumla Ismiya, we always look for Muptada and Khabar. Now, as we know, khabar can be of five kinds. So I have written five sentences here. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. In fact, there are six sentences, but the last two sentences are for Jumla Ismiya. So, brothers and sisters, we must always remember, whenever the khabar, the word khabar will come, it can be of five kinds. Later on, we will have khabar kana, khabar laisa, khabar mahijaziya. All these things will come. But if you know the concept very well, that the khabar can be of five kinds, things become very easy. You know? So here we are, brothers and sisters. Khabar can be one word. Al kitabu jadidun. Uh, so when it is one word, it is always marfu. Al-kitabu jadidun. Or it can come, the khabar can come as a mudaf and there will be mudaf ilahi. Uh, Al-Qur'anu kitabullahi. Are you with me? I'm not writing, but you know this sentence very well. Al-Qur'anu muftada. There is a news. Kitabullahi. So Kitabullahi is mudaf mudaf ilayhi. But where is our khabar? Kitab. Because there is the marfu. So it is one word. Then we will say, huwa mudaf and Allahi mudaf ilayhi. Very simple. Remember this word. Al-Qur'anu Kitabullahi or Muhammadun Rasulullahi. So Rasulullahi is again Mudaf mudaf ilayhi. So our khabar is Rasul only. Fine. But then we come to Al Kitabu. Okay. It's Muptra. What is the news? Al Al Maktabi. What is Al Al Maktabi? Jar Majru. Shibu Jumla. Khabar. MashaAllah. And then we say Al Kitabu Muptada. What is the news? Tahta Al Kursiji. So Tahta is Zarf. So we say Tahta Zarf. And immediately we say Shubhu Jumla Khabar. And then what about the next noun? Al Kursiji Mudaf Ilayhi. Khalas. Simple, brother. Then we say Hamidun. Okay, very good. Muptada. What is the news? Zahaba Ilal Masjidi. So Zahaba Ilal Masjidi is a complete Jumla failure. Verbal sentence. What do we look in verbal sentence? We are looking for Fial and Fahai. So what is where is our fiel? Zahra. Where is our file? Mustatir. In this case, Mustatir. Okay? And what is Ilal uh, Masjidi? Jar Majroor. Khalas. Now we say, Hamidun. Okay? Fine, Muftada. Where is the news? The news comes in the form of a complete Jumla Ismiya. Lahu salasatu abnain. How will you translate Lahu salasatu abnain? He has three sons. Okay, brother? Three sons. So, Lahu, what is Lahu? Jar Majur. Are you with me? Jar Majur. Now it is in the front. Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then Salasatu abnain. What is Salasatu abnain? It's Mudaf. But first, we are looking for Muptada. So where is Muptada? Muptada is Salasatu. Are you with me? Wahua Muda and then Muda Filehi. Fine. So this whole sentence, brother, this whole sentence, what is this whole sentence? A Jumlatul Ismiyatu coming as a Khabar. Another example of Jumla Ismiya. Hamidun. Fine. Hamidun. What is the news about him? It's Muptada. Huh? Hamidun Muptada. Huh? Hamidun Muptada. Brothers and sisters. What is Hamidun? 
Mubtada. Where is the news? What is the news? His brother is a doctor. What is the news? His brother is a doctor. So, Akhuhu. Tabibun. What is Akhuhu? Brothers? Akhuhu is Akhuhu. Mudaf, Mudaf ilay. But first we got to find the Mubtada. So Mubtada is Akhu. Wa huwa Mudaf. And then who? Mudaf ilayhi. Fine. Where is the khabar for Akhu? Tabibun. Now this whole sentence, brother and sister, the whole sentence is khabar for Hamid. So then how many kinds of khabar we are now here looking at? Five kinds of khabar. Huh? Jadidun, one word, will always be marfu. Alal maktabi, jar majru, shibu jumla, khabar. Tahta kursiyi, tahta. Tahta, zarf, shibu jumla, khabar. And kursiyi, mudaf ilayhi. Sahi? And then we have hamidun mubtra, zahaba ilal masjidi, jumla failure coming as a khabar. And then we have hamidun Mubtada, what is the news? Lahu salasatu abnai. He has three sons. So he has three sons. Lahu salasatu abnai is a complete sentence. Is coming as a khabar for Hamid. Lahu jar majrur shibu jumla khabar. Salasatu mubtada wahu mudaf and abnai mudaf ilahi. Another example for jumla ismiya because this is where most of the students sometimes get confused because they see there are two muptadas. Uh, but we have to divide the sentence, brother. Hamidun muptada. Okay? If you want to say this as a muptada number one, that is also fine. And then, ahu, hu, tabibun. Ahu, hu is mudah mudafilihi. So, the translation is his brother is a doctor. So, Akhu is our Muftada. You want to call it Muftada number two? You can call it Muftada number two. Akhuhu, Akhu, Muftada, wa huwa mudaf, hu mudaf ilahi, and Tabibun is the khabar. We can call it khabar number two for Muftada number two. And this whole sentence, brothers and sisters, the whole sentence, Akhuhu, Tabibun, is your khabar for Muqtada number one. So we can call it the whole sentence as khabar number one. Keep this in mind, brothers and sisters. Now what Inna does, Inna enters Jumla Ismiya. And when Inna comes in Jumla Ismiya, brothers and sisters, uh, it gives um, Muqtada a nasab. It will give, make Muqtada mansub. Uh, and then, once you make Muptada Mansub, it is no longer Muptada. It becomes Ismu Inna. What does it become? Ismu Inna. So if there is a Ismu Inna, there will be Khabar Inna. So it becomes very easy if the, the first concept of Khabar coming in five different forms is strong in our understanding, brother then things will become very easy, inshallah. Okay? And as, as you know, we can also, with the inna, join our pronoun. Huh? So when you join pronoun with inna, brothers and sisters, because inna gives nasab, make it mansub, the ism, then the pronoun now becomes mansub. Are you with me? If you say innahu, so what is inna? Harfu tawkid wa nasbin. Remember we said that. Harfu tawkid wa nasbin. Okay? Fine example. I will write down here. Hamidun huh? talibun. Sahi brothers and sisters? What is Hamid? Muptada. What is this, brother? Khabar. Okay? Now I say inna hami dan. Then talibun will remain talibun. Okay, brother? So inna, brother, is harfu tawkid. 
حرفو توکید و نسب توحیدن و نسبن صحیح انہ and what will become to حامدن is اسمو انہ are you with me it is اسمو انہ and then this is will become حبر انہ so it is very very easy brother اسمو انہ and حبر انہ now I change this into who are طالبون حبر and sisters Huwa Talibun. So what is Huwa? Mubtada. And what is Talibun? Khabar. Are you with me? Now I use Inna. So what will you I say? Inna Hu Talibun. Brothers and sisters, so what is Inna? Harfu. تاوکی دن و نسبن Are you with me brother? What is who now? I will say who is اسمو انہ منصوبن اسمو انہ منصوبن Always brothers اسم انہ منصوب and what is this خبر انہ are you with me brother and sisters انشاءاللہ now we will go to the lesson and read it ok if you wish to write it down write it down strong in in our 14 pronouns so if I say innahu, can I do the rest of it? We start again with innahu. Innahu, innahuma, innahum, innaha, innahuma, innahunna, innaka, innakuma, innakum, innaki, innakuma, innakunna, inni, inna, inni, inna. Are you with me, brother and sister? So all these pronouns, because they were joined with inna, they became ismu inna, and they are now mansu. Huh? They are now mansu, huh? because they join inna, and inna will make it mansu. You know, its ism will be made mansu. Right. Now we start the lesson. Hashimun, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. هاشم يسند to the teacher كيف حالك يا أستاذ؟ لا لك بخير. How are you يا أستاذ؟ Hope you are well. Now لا لا is also sister of إن. Okay. There are several sisters of إن. Now brothers and sisters. And La Allah is one of them. So all these sisters will behave exactly as the Inna behaves. So when you say La Allah Ka, La Allah Ka, what is Ka? Ismu La Allah Mansu. We will say Ismu La Allah Mansu. Okay. Now we need Khabar. Khabar is of five kinds. So what kind of a Khabar is here? Bi Khairin. What is be khairin? Shibu jumla khabar. Jar majru, shibu jumla khabar. Sahi? Very easy, brothers and sisters. It's extremely easy. Okay. Now, again, since we are doing la Allah, let us see if we can conjugate la Allah with all the pronouns. Ready? La Allah hu, la Allah huma. لا لهم لا لها لا لهما 
لعلهن لعلك لعلكما لعلكم لعلك لعلكما لعلكن لعلي what is it لعلي and then لعلنا لعلنا no by doing this exercise brother okay we make our uh, understanding of pronouns is strong and when the real exercise will come you will find it what will you find there brother in the in the exercise you will find you will find halwa puri <laughs> but they'll be very easy inshallah and it is coming it is coming Mudars is replying, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Mubtada. Lillah. Jar Majroo. Shibu Jumla Khabar. We know that. Wa kaifa haluka anta ya Hashim. Now, brother, anta is used here for emphasize. If you don't use it, the, the sentence is still correct. Kaifa haluka ya Hashim. That is also correct. And when you say kaifa haluka anta, you are just emphasizing, you know. Fine. Ana ohibuka kathiran. Ana muftada. Ohibuka is a jumla failure. We have not learned this. And ka is an object of ohibu, which is in Arabic mafulun bihi. Ohibu, I love. Whom do you love? Ka, I love you. Okay, and what is kathiran, brother and sister? Kathiran is mafulun mutlak. We are going to learn later on, inshallah. Hinnaka, see now comes hinnaka. So what will you say, brother Hassan? Hinna is arfu taqid wa nasbin. And what is ka? Ismu inna mansub. Sahi? What will you say, ka? Ismu inna mansu. Where is the khabar? Talibun. Is your khabar? One word. Okay, then after Talibun comes Zakiyun. What is Zakiyun, brother Abdul Samad? It is a naat. Talibun, Zakiyun. Now comes Mujtahidun. Also naat. But these are all mautufun ala Zaki. Okay. And then Wazlu. Now, zu is also a naat, and it is matufun ala zakiyun. And then, wa huwa mudaf, and then mudaf ilayhi. Brothers and sisters, I told you that we have so far studied ayyu, and then we studied kullu. Now we are studying zoo. They will come as a mudaf. Now there will be mudaf ilayhi. Are you with me? There will, there will be mudaf ilayhi. Now the tricky thing is, if you really want to understand well, and I always felt that I should understand well, you know, when I was studying. I want to know everything, even though it is hard. You have to watch uh, that zoo, which is a mudaf, can come as a naat or come, can come as a khabar also. It will come as a khabar uh, or it can come as a naat. Doesn't matter, whatever way it comes, it will always have mudafilehi. Uh, because it has mudafilehi. Whether it comes as a khabar or whether it comes as a naat, it will have mudafilehi. Uh, so look at this sentence, brother. There is a beautiful exercise coming. Uh, now, this requires a little bit of understanding. And little bit of extra penetrating huh? okay now look at here we already got Taliban as a khabar then Zakiyun came as a naat 
and then mujtahidun also is a not but mautufun ala zakiyun. Then again ataf came, again zu is a not but it is mautufun ala zakiyun. So it is our not. Now there will be sentences in which it will become khabar. And we have to watch. We have to watch. Zu khulukhin. Zu means owner or possessor, huh, brother? Uh, literal meaning is owner or possessor. When you say Zu Khulukin means he has good character, with a good character. There are things that will surprise you when you understand Zu very well. Because you always say, Ya Zal Jalali, Zal Jalali Walikram. So what is this Ya Zal Jalali? What is this? Zu uh, became za. Zu became za. All these things we will study and it will surprise you, brother. Uh, that these things we used to say it all the time but never understood the meaning of or the construction of it. Fine, brothers and sisters. Amin Pakistan anta amin al Hindi. No, I want you to really underline min Pakistan. And I want you to underline Minal Hindi, brothers and sisters. Okay, this is also a concept that has to be understood. What is A, brother? A is called Harfu Istifam. Uh, brother of the Samad. A is for asking question. And what is Am? Am means or. Um, there is another word, Aw. They both mean or. Now we have to remember one thing that Am um is only used in questions. And Aw is used in statements. Statement. When you use a question and you have to use or, then you'll use am. When you have to say a statement and use or, you'll use am. Huh? So what is so special about this? I want to explain, brother. Am in Pakistan anta, am in al Hindi. In a sentence, when you are not sure and you ask a question and you state two things. How many things? Two things. Okay. This or that. Because you are not sure. So in Arabic language, brother, the two things that you want to inquire about, first thing will come after a. Are you with me? Here is brother, I'm not too sure whether he's from uh, Min Bakis Tana. And the other thing is Minal Hindi. I'm not too sure. Okay. Are there two things that you are inquiring? Then immediately after a, one will come. Are you with me? So immediately after a, I say a, min, bakis, tanra, and then anta. Am, then the second thing. Number one I'm inquiring about and number two. And there are two things. One and two. Huh? Are you with me? How will you say in English? Are you, 
Are you from Pakistan or Pakistan or from India? See, these things came together and in the middle is or. Sahi? Eh? Are you from Pakistan or India? Okay? They came together with the or dividing them. Can I say the same thing in Arabic? Anta min Pakistan am min al Hindi? I can say that, you know. Anta min Pakistan am min al Hindi. But that will be wrong. That will be very poor Arabic. Huh? The eloquent Arabic will be that we divide those two things. We bring one <coughs> soon after a uh, and the other thing after um. Are you following me, brother? Is this clear? Huh? Instead of saying anta, no, I don't say anta. I bring that one thing. I'm in Pakistan, anta. I'm in Pakistan, anta. I'm min al Hindi. That will be a most correct form. You have to remember this. Uh, this is how when you ask about two things, then this is the way you will say it. No. <coughs> Here is, I don't know whether this uh, thing is a masjid or a school. They both look same. So I say, Ahada masjidun am madrasatun, but that will be incorrect. A masjidun haza am madrasatun am madrasatun. Are you with me? A masjidun haza. Am madrasatun? I write down this sentence. Two things, brother. A masjidun haza. And then I'm writing here. Am madrasatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Let me write down with this black. What will you say in English? Is this a masjid or a school? So masjid or a school came together, but in Arabic, a masjidun haza. Not a haza masjidun. You will say a masjidun haza am. Madarasatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Write down these two. They are coming in a lesson. There is a whole exercise coming to tell us. Now, this is the eloquent way of saying it. If you say it the other way, Ahada Masjidun, Am Madarasatun, it's a very poor Arabic. A person will understand you, but that is not correct. That is incorrect. You will say, A Masjidun Haza. Am Madrasatun. So similarly here, we don't know whether he's from Pakistan or from India. So we are asking, Am min Pakistan anta? Am min al Hindi? That is the correct way of asking. Inshallah, you'll remember, brothers and sisters, you'll read this lesson. I used to read book two often, brother, because the lessons are beautiful. And they are beautiful dialogues. So you, you, one can enjoy reading them over and over again, brothers and sisters. What is the answer of Hashim? Inni min al Hindi. Now, what is inni? How many words are there? There are two words, brothers and sisters. 
Okay? What is it? Sister Suhaina, inna, and plus ya mutakallim. Sister Hafza, did you get it? Inni is two words. Inna plus ya mutakallim. So inna, what is inna? Harfu ta'kid wa nasb. And what is uh, ya mutakallim, Sister Hafza? Ismu inna, mansubun, mashallah. May Allah bless you, Sister, and all of us. Huh? Mashallah, mashallah. Very good. And then where is our khabar, Sister Abza? Min al-Hindi. What is Min al-Hindi? Jar marjur shubu jumla khabar. MashaAllah. That's the way it is. Aha, aha. I like it. <laughs> okay. Wa zami luka. Zami luka. Wa zami luka al-lazi kharaja maak al-ana min al-fasli. Uh, but I'll only translate this. Do not uh, try to analyze it. Huh? Because questions we don't analyze. Azami luka alladhi kharaja ma'aka al-ana min al-fasli. How will you translate, Brother uh, Abdus Samad? So this is the translation. And your colleague who came out with you now from the class, Ahuwa Aidan. Is he also min al Hindi? No, no, what is the answer? La. Innahu min Pakistan. See how cleverly Dr. Saab is using those pronouns in the, in the dialogue, and we are getting the practice of all our pronouns, you know. Dr. Saab will use all the pronouns except dual. He will not use dual now, till at the end of the book. But for the sake of practice and simplicity and the sequence, we, when we practice, we do 14 in a sequence, brother. Okay. Innahu min Pakistan. Inna. Sumaya, what is inna? Harfu taqid wa nasb. What is who? Ismu inna mansu, masha. And where is khabar inna? Min Pakistan. What is Min Pakistan, sister? Jar Majroor, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Inshallah, I'm going to ask everyone. And inshallah, you'll try to answer me. If you get confused, don't worry, it's normal. But I would like you to make an attempt, and inshallah, you'll become strong. Now, Al Mudaris is saying, what is he saying? Inna. After Inna, there is no pronoun, but a noun is coming. So inna will make that noun mansu, and we will call that noun ismu inna. So what is inna sa'ata? It is sa'atu. Sa'atu became sa'ata. Now that is our ismu inna. Wa huwa mudaf. And what is ka? Mudaf really. Inna sa'ataka. Huh? Jamilatun. Okay, Sister Fatima, what is jamilatun? Jamilatun, it's one word. So it is a khabar inna. What is it? Khabar inna. We got our ismu inna sa'ata. Wa huwa mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Am min al-yabani hiya? See, this is the proper way of saying. If you say, ahiya min al-yabani, it's not right. A min al-yabani hiya? Are you with me? A min al-yabani hiya? What is the answer? La. And then, innaha. Sister Fatima, what is inna? Harfu tawkid wa nasb. And what is ha? Ismu inna mansubun. Got your ismu inna? Huh? And where is your khabar inna? Min al Hindi. What is it? Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. MashaAllah. Now see how, how the question is asked. You are asking, you don't know whether it is cheap or expensive. In English, you will say, is it, cheap? is it inexpensive or expensive? Inexpensive or expensive will come together in English. But in Arabic, we will say, a ghaliyatun hiya. What will you say in Arabic, brother? A ghaliyatun hiya. 
Am rahisatum. So she, here comes a and am. Uh, no, we cannot say a hiya. No, we, has, we will say a ghaliyatun hiya. Am rahisatun. Got the idea? Uh, watch for this construction, brother and sister. Uh, a ghaliyatun hiya. Am rahisatun. So between a and am. The two things that we are inquiring, one will come immediately after a, and then the other thing will come after am, and everything else in between. This construction is very important to keep it in mind, huh? inshallah. Innaha rahisatun jiddan. Innaha rahisatun Jiddan. See, rakhisa tun. Huh? Tun. Huh? Tun. Okay. Marfu. Okay. So, Sister Naima, what is inna ha? How many words are there? Two. What is inna? Harfu tauki, one naspin. Well, what is ha? Ismu inna mansu. Huh? And what is, where is our khabar? Rakhisa tun. That is your khabar, one word. Marfu. And what is Jiddan? Jiddan is Jiddan Marfu Mansub Majroor. Mansub. It is Mansub. So there it is something else. And it is Mafulun Mutla. We will read it and understand it later on. Huh? Don't worry. The, I will be saying Mafulun Mutla so many times. You will become expert in saying Mafulun Mutla. And you will even figure out that it is Mafulun Mutla. The only thing you wouldn't know is why. And that we will learn later on in book three. Okay, my sisters. Innaha, sister Faiza, innaha bi miati rubiyatin fakat. No, brother and sisters, the word fakat means only. It's a very common word, fakat. It has never been used in Quran. Fakat has never come in Quran. Okay? But we use Fakat all the time in our conversation. And keep that in mind, brother. So, Sister Faisa, in Naha, how many words are there? Two. What, is, what are they? In Na, Mashala, Ismo Inna, Mansub. You will always say Mansub because we want to have that idea of Mansub in our mind. Ha is ismu inna mansu. No, where is our khabar? What is bi? Miati. Bi miati. Huh? Bi, what is bi? Harf char. So miati became isam majru. Harf char isam majru. So this bi miati, brothers and sisters, is your uh, jar majru, shibu jumla khabar. And what is rubi atin? She be miati with single kasra. Now rubiyatin came with a tanmi kasra. Can you figure out? Brother and sisters, rubiyatin is mudafilahi. What is it? Now let me show you something, brother. Keep this in mind, brother. What did I write down, brother? Miatun. I wrote alif, but I did not pronounce. Huh? So miatun. The spelling is this. In some countries, they write down like this. They, they don't write with alif. Both are correct. But let us stick to this. Because this you will find in many literary works. Okay? Mia, then, and in Quran also you find like that. So you do are not pronouncing this uh, Aleph. Huh? So look at it, Mia Tun. The same goes with Alfun. Hundred and thousand. Now always, it because it's a number, we will have Madud. Huh? So what will be? Mia Tun Tali Bin. What did I? Mia tu. Because now it becomes mudaf. Are you with me? Mia tu tu became 
Mudaf, Mudaf ilihi. Miyatu Talibin. Sahi? What is it, brother? Mudaf, Mudaf ilihi. Sahi? And what if I were to say 100 uh, female students, still Miyatu will remain Miyatu. Only the Madud will change. Only the Madud will change. Sahi? Miyatu Talibin and Miyatu Talibatin. No change in Miyatu. Same way I say. Alfu Tali bin and I will say Alfu Taliba Tin. Got the idea, brother and sister? Alfu Taliba Tin. Sahi? It will remain same. Now, sister Faiza. Uh, I say here, uh, Mia to Rubiatin. See, Mia to Rubiatin or Mia to Dularin. Mia to Dularin. Okay, so what is Mia to Mudaf? Rubiatin, Mudafile. Now I put half chair in front of it. B. What did I put? B. So what is B? Harsha. How many words are there now? Three words are there. Huh, brother? Three there. So what is harf B? Harsha. Then we have to have a Isam Majroor. So where is the Isam Majroor? Miyati. Now I will give it a Kasra. Huh? Maybe I should I'm put here B in the red, and then I will give it kasra here. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? B miati. Okay. Now <clears throat> there are two compounds: B miati jar majrur and miati rubiatin mudah mudafili. So miati miati is playing now double role. Are you with me? It's playing double role. So it is B Miyati, B Harfjar, Miyati Isam Majroor, Wahua Mudaf, and then Rubiatin Mudaf Ilehi. Got the idea, brother? Are you with me? One more time I say B Harfjar, Miyati Isam Majroor, Wahua Mudaf. Because it is Mudaf also. And then Mudafili. Maybe I should write down. Huh? B, brothers and sisters. Harfu Jar. Harfu Jarin. Miyati Isam Majroor. Plus, it is Mudaf. And then this is Mudaf Ilayhi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, Sister Faiza, if you say Innaha Innaha fu tawqidin wa nasbin Ha Ismu inna bansub Bi harfchar Miyati isam majrur Shibu jumla khabar Sahi? Shibu jumla khabar And then what will you say Rubiyatin on its own? Mudafilehi Sahi? In the end it was mudafilehi Sahi? Are you with me, Brother Muhammad? Right? It's not difficult, Brother. And once you will get used to this, Brother, you are going to love Book 3. You are going to love it. Because things will become so clear to you. You know? And then you are going to enjoy it. Huh? Now comes our same, come Akhan Laka. Huh? What is Akhan, Brother and Sister? Mansub, singular, indefinite. What is Akhan? Tamiz, mashallah. Huh? What is it? Tamiz. Kam akhan laka ya Hashim. How will you translate? Mudas is asking. How many brothers you have, O Hashim? What is the answer? 
Li sala satu ikhwatenu. Okay, brother, we have done it in book one. How many verbs are in Li, sister Arifa? Two words. What are they? Ism, jar, majrur. It's they are jar, majrur. Li is arfchar. And ya mutakallam is ism, majrur. Jar, majrur, shibu, jumla, khabar. No, where is our muftada? Salah satu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafili. Masha'Allah, masha'Allah. Now the question. At-tulabun hum. Watch this. How the... A hum, we are tempted to say, a hum tulabun? No, brother. A tulabun hum should be the proper way of asking. A tulabun hum? Fine. What is the answer, sister Maimuna? La. Innahum tujjarun. Are you with me? Innahum tujjarun. So, innahum, how many words are there? Two. What are they, sister? Inna, hafu, harfu taqeed wa naspin, and hum, ismu inna, mansubun, mashallah. And you see, it is, ismu inna is mansub, so the khabar, uh, brother and sister, is marfu, tujja run, huh? tujja run. In other words, if there is one word coming as a khabar of, Inna, it will always be marfu. Huh? Marfu. Okay. Now, one more thing, brothers and sisters. If I did not say inna, what will I say? Hum to jarun. What will I say? Hum to jarun. So, if the muftada is jama, the khabar is also jama. Huh? That is also we have to bear in mind. Fine. Huh? So, to jarun is a khabar inna. Mashallah. Mashallah. Kam ukhtan laka. How we translate Sister Nasreen? Sister, you have. Fine. What is the answer? Li arba'u akhawatin. Li, how many words are there? Two. What are they? And isam majroor. Jahar majroor. Fine. Shubhu jumla khabar. Where is our muftada? Arba'u. Wa huwa mudaf. And where is mudaf illahi? Akhawatin. Akhawatin. Tin. Tin. Mudaf ilahi majroor. Tin. Very good, mashallah. Afil hindi hunna al-ana. Afil hindi hunna al-ana. What is the translation? Are they in India now? What is the answer, sister Mahanas? La. Inna hunna هنا بالمدينة المنورة مع أبي وأمي. Oh, but you got a long sentence. I I did not pull it for you. It came in your share as we are going along. So إن هنا how many words are there? Can you describe them? نسبن هنا Masha'Allah. Where is our khabar hunna? Now be careful. There are many possibilities. But hunna, hunna, inna hunna, hunna is zarf. Zarfu makhan. Hunna. Okay. Khabar, the more appropriate khabar will be bil madinatil munawarati. Look at it. Inna hunna bil madinatil munawarati. They are in Madina. Fine. Bil Madinati, Bil Madinati, what is this sister? Shibu Jumla Khabar. What is Al Munawarati? Naat, mashallah, mashallah. And what is this Ma doing here? What is Ma? Zarf. So then after Ma, we should have a Mudafili. What is Abi? How many words are there? Two. So how will you describe Ma Abi? What is Ma? Zarf. And after Zarf will come Mudafili Majroor. So, Abi here is two words, Abi with Kasra, not Abu. We won't say Abu. You know why we won't say Abu? Because Ma has come, it made Abu into Abi already. Okay? Are you with me? Okay? Look here. Bro. Ma, okay? And then Abi and plus Yamutakalam. 
Are you with me? Huh? So normally we are, when we say Abi, we always say it is Mubtada and it is Marfu, Abu. But in this case, because Ma'a came, Ma will already change Abu into Abi. Then Abi is our, uh, f- because of Ma is Mudaf ilayhi. Plus it is Mudaf for Ya Mutakallam Mudaf ilayhi. Is it clear by the Abdus Samad? Huh? Ma when came, it needs Mudaf ilayhi. So Abi became Mudaf ilayhi for Ma. And then it is Mudaf for Ya. Huh? Same thing. Huh? See, Abi is now playing double role. On one hand, it is mudaf ilahi, and then it is turning around and saying, I am mudaf also. And ya mutakalam became mudaf ilahi. Huh? Okay, then again, wow came. Ataf. So what is ummi? Ummi will be mautufun ala abi. Wahuwa mudaf, and ya mutakalam mudaf ilahi. Sahi? Very good. Ataribatu hunna. Nusrat, what is the translation? We cannot say ahunna talibatun. No. The more eloquent is atalibatun hunna. Huh? Are they students? Yeah? La. Inna hunna. Mudarrisatun. Bil madrasatil. Sanaviyati. Bil madrasat sanaviyati. Inna hunna mudarrisatun bil madrasat sanaviyati. Okay? Hala harfu nafi, tika. Harfu tawkid wa nasbi. Mansu. Where is, where is our? Khabarinna, mashallah. And bil madrasati, jar majroor, jar majroor, sahi, and thanaviyati, naat, mashallah. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah.